Hi, welcome to Math Minute. My name is Adam, and today we're going to be talking about shifting and scaling graphs. So by now we've had a pretty good understanding of how to draw graphs and how they look. Now we're going to see how a function is changed when you add or multiply or divide, subtract by certain values. And for this case, k is always constant. So for all the examples that I give, k is some constant 1, 2, 3, 1 half, something like that. So the first idea is a vertical shift. So if we have a function and we add some value k to it, we're going to shift it up that number of units. So as you see with all these, I have x squared drawn. That's the easiest graph to understand. So what we're going to do is, if we were to say x squared plus 1, this is going to shift this x squared graph up one unit. So this is then what we're going to have. The same graph, identical graph, but up one unit. Now if you can kind of guess, if we were to subtract that k value, we would probably shift it down. So now, if we have a function minus some constant k, we're going to shift it down k units. So in this case, we're going to have minus 1. So once again, we're going to draw the exact same graph, x squared, as good as we can, and we're just going to draw it down one unit. So this would be the graph x squared minus 1. It's the graph of x squared, just down one unit. Now we're going to talk about horizontal shifts. This gets a little bit more confusing. This was outside the function, so after we already did the problem, we had our answer, we added the value to it. This we're going to add while we're inside the function. So in this case, this would be like x plus 1, the whole thing squared. So while bef before we're actually finding the answer, we're adding it to the x value. So what this does is this is going to shift it left one unit. And this is when we add. This is kind of confusing. Sometimes you want to say we're adding, we're going to go down to the right when we go down x values. But actually with a horizontal shift, we shift left if we add on the inside of a function. So as you can imagine, it's going to be the same graph, just shifted to the left one unit. Now, kind of similar to vertical shift, we're going to do the opposite when we subtract. So if we're talking about a function x minus 1 squared, we're going to shift it to the right one unit, just like that. Same graph as we had before, x squared, just shifted to the right one unit. Now, this is where things get a little confusing. We're going to talk about vertical scaling. So, what we do now is when we multiply by, by a value, we're going to change it in a different way. We're going, to know, we're going to call it vertical stretch or vertical shrink. So in this case, if we have y equals a constant times f of x outside the function, we're going to stretch it if k is greater than 1. So let me draw an example and we'll talk about it. So if we had 2 times x squared, we're going to stretch this vertically. So we're going to take the function and we're going to go like this. We're going to pull it up like that. So this is what 2x squared is kind of going to look like. Now if we had x was between 0 and 1, that means that it's a fraction. That means it can't be 0, can't be 1. So let's talk about 1 half times x squared. So what this is, this is shrink. We're going to smash it together. So if we had something we smashed it together, it's going to go outwards like this. So this would be the graph 1 half times x squared. So anything that's between 0 and 1 when multiplying by this function, we're going to smash it. Now, this is where things get really confusing, horizontal scaling. There isn't really, it, it's kind of explained properly in the book, um, but this is where certain examples, it's the same as vertical scaling, sometimes it's not. So this is an example of 1 over x squared. This is a good example of when this will actually apply. If k is greater than 1, and we multiply this on the inside of the function, just like here, we had on the outside and then the inside. This was the outside, and this is going to be the inside. So if we multiply this inside by 2, what's going to happen is this is going to move towards the x-axis. So it's going to be the same graph, but just closer to the x-axis. So now if you can imagine, what's going to happen is if we multiplied the inside by something that's between 0 and 1. Well, if this moved it closer to the x-axis, if we multiply the inside by 1 half, then this is going to move it farther. So this is going to be what it looks like. So 
This has been a rough overview of what goes on with graphs when we multiply, add, subtract constants to it. Um, with vertical shift, it's the same and based off plus and minus as horizontal shift, very similar. And horizontal and vertical scaling all have to do with if it's between 0 and 1 or if it's greater than 1. So if it's a fraction or not. So this has been a quick overview of vertical scaling and shifting. Hopefully it's been helpful and we'll see you next time.